What brought about the development of the Active Wall Mount Solution? What was the design process like? And why do we think you will love it? Hi, this is James Casey from Active, and today we're going to talk about the design process of the Active Wall Mount and Hose Reel Solution. The Wall Mount and Hose Reel Solution were designed based on how many of you were already setting up your Active 2.0s in your garages. We truly appreciate the dedication you put into your setups. Honored to be part of them, whether through our pressure washers or accessories. Of course, there were already serious players in the space curious packages with hose reels, shelves, and accessories. But it never felt quite right. There wasn't a true all-in-one solution that paired seamlessly with our Active 2.0 and 2.3 pressure washers. That opened the door for us to develop an integrated solution, the Active Wall Mount and Hose Reel Combo Kit. The design process for the hose reel and wall mount combo was a lengthy one. We faced several challenges along the way all in the effort to create something that truly meets your needs. Here's a quick look at some of the early prototypes for the active wall mount hose reel combo. A glimpse into the journey that led to what we've built today. So let's take a look at our first prototype. As you can see here on the left side, we had the hose reel with this large, pretty significant valve coming out the side with the jumper cable and the crank located on the inside. Right away, we could see this space was very limited in here. It was going to be awkward. As well, below, we had kind of a universal hanger for foam cannons. And then right here, we had a hanger for your gun. Under here, we had this quick connect system mounted to the roof of the wall mount using these stainless quick connects. And again, we found that that placement interfered with the handle. And all in all, this could be done a lot more efficiently. If we look on top, you'll see there's this hole pattern. And what I was trying to do was come up with a standard slot pattern that could fit most pressure washers. It didn't quite work out that way. Somehow it sort of got messed up a bit, but first prototype, this was a rough, a rough attempt at that. So let's take a look at the second prototype. I don't have the hose reel here, but you can see these holes. This is where we now mount the hose reel with the crank arm coming out on this side. Addressed the, the previous issue of having tight space in here, really an inefficient use of space for the storage of your accessories and so on. Further, you'll see we still have this kind of universal foam cannon holder. So that remained on the second one. And then there are four hanging spots down here. So the idea was you could have two lances and two guns hanging below. But what we realized was after looking at a bunch of your setups in the garage, you have your pressure washer on a shelf, hose reel, and then directly below that, you've got a DI system. If we keep this here, it's in the way of your DI setup. So we had to get rid of that right away. With the hose reel mounted over here, now we needed a place for the jumper hose to come through. I added this hole in the top here. And so that made it easier. You could mount your pressure washer here and then the hose comes up. Another key change from prototype one, we had those stainless steel quick connects mounted to the underside top here. We then moved those, we got rid of the stainless steel, we went with these four rubber grommets. We figured if we could mount them to the back, it would be easier to access, easier to see, easier to get on and off with one hand. Finally, uh, the mounting plate. This we got right on this version. This now mounts into your wall. You see these hanging hooks here. You can simply hoist this guy up and then slot it in place. If you look here on top, you can see we had added this logo plate here. And then you see this red line. Now, what we found was because of this logo plate here, it was actually making this area feel very cramped. So I scribbled this little red line here and said, let's get rid of that. You'll note on our next prototype how that really opened things up. Okay, moving along to the third prototype. We're getting close. The hose reel on the left side, the crank arm sitting outside the cage here. I guess the first thing you'll notice is we now have the nozzles mounted at the bottom. On this version, we had space for five. And then you can see here, the hose reel. Prior to this version, we had quite a large valve coming off the side and that really cramped all this space up. So we had our engineering team to rework that into this small machine stainless steel piece, which really works great, saves space. Other thing to note here is kind of a gun mounting holster. It didn't really work out well. It wasn't really, when we got this prototype in, we tried it out with our gun. We tried it out with a few other competitive guns. It wasn't sitting quite well. We decided to take this, push it off to the side, 
That allowed us a little bit more freedom with which gun you might want to place in there, in which orientation you wanted to place it. And then up top here, you can see, as I mentioned before, we cut away this area and see how that really opens things up. If you decide you don't want to run your jumper hose through this hole in the top, it could be done depending on the model of washer you have. This gives you a lot more freedom. And finally, here it is the refined version. I'll just start from top to bottom. If you look down from the top here, you'll see there's a hole pattern. There's some slot shapes, there's some T-shapes. This really allows you a lot of flexibility to pretty much mount any washer you want on the top of it. We adjusted the placement of this top hole just to try to give you as much flexibility as possible. You can see the connect for the foam cannon. That pops in real nice as well the lance easily pops up there and then we've got space here for your four nozzles and finally the gun this is a truly universal short gun holder you could pop it in in this orientation you could pop it in that orientation everything fits really well so there it is the story of the active hose reel and wall mount solution from prototype one to the finish along the way always look back to your garage setups and it really let us down the path to say, oh, we should do it like this, put something over there, keep everything nice and tidy and really trying to do it without any compromise. Looking back, I think we did a pretty good job. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. If you're in the US, you can join our waitlist now.